The story of Anne Frank is well known to us all. A young woman who has been described as the teenager of the 20th century, who wrote a diary which is in the 10 most read books in the world. She died in Bergen-Belsen after typhoid, and she was thrown in a mass grave. Yesterday would have been Anne Frank's 92nd birthday. And I was giving some thought today as I was on my way here as to what sort of person 92-year-old Anne Frank might be. And I suspect she would be a courageous fighter, a person who stood up for all those who are discriminated against, a person who got things done. And we have someone two years her senior in Boyd Clapp who's all of those things as well. It's your drive, your commitment and your enthusiasm that bring us here today and bring us to the unveiling of this memorial. This is an opportunity for us to acknowledge the life of an extraordinary young woman and recommit ourselves every single day to end discrimination and promote inclusion and respect. When we had the trees planted, we discussed with the council uh, what we would have between the 15 trees and the 75 trees. And it was suggested that we would have two seats there so people could sit, meditate, and realize and concentrate on what happened. Philosophically, we need something different. We need not just a statue of Anne Frank, we need something that people say, what is it? It will make them think. Unlike a bench in the park, none of the seats offer the expected privilege of the idyllic view over the valley. Instead, they engage in a simple object theater. And here's something that you will not experience because you've already been here. But if a new visitor were to walk up that path and the eye level comes level with the grass, we'll all, all of a sudden think, hey, someone has left some chairs behind. It is in, in that unassuming way in which the memorial will introduce itself to the visitors. It's important to have the memorial, to never forget. Anna Frank gave us a message of hope and inspiration, and that is what this memorial does. We remember her and the 1.5 million children who were murdered in the Holocaust. And it is a call and a challenge for us all to root out the inequity that we see around us. And may I suggest, when you really want to experience what discrimination is, the two of you face each other and somebody sits on the other chair and is not part of it. In memory of Anne Frank and all other children who lost their lives because of discrimination, intolerance and prejudice.